What do I eat? I love cheese. Amen. Cheese. <laughs> Hey there, welcome to Ask Jesse. Thank you for submitting your questions. These questions uh, for this episode came in through Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag Ask Jesse. You can tweet me with that hashtag, any of your questions. Um, you can also comment on any of my Instagram posts with the hashtag Ask Jesse, and I will find your questions and use them to select these awesome Ask Jesse questions that I record for you guys and gals here. So, what is the next question? Okay, so Anna Croft from Twitter wants to know, what do you eat? What do I eat? That's it. What do I eat? Wow, oh boy. Okay, I eat um, pretty much everything. <laughs> um, but uh, I follow and coach my Jesse's Girls to follow um, what's called a flexible diet, um, meaning that we calculate our macros. Your macro, macros is short for macronutrients, and the macronutrients are proteins, carbs, and fats. So protein grams, carb grams, and fat grams. That, those are the main macronutrients. That's what you wanna focus on every day. Um, you calculate those protein, carb, and fat grams. Um, you get your daily amounts of each one of those in grams by calculating um, your macros. So when you hear somebody say, I don't know how to calculate my macros, it's just an equation. Um, a mathematical equation that you use using your body height, your weight, um, your exercise, uh, your activity level, uh, your age, things like that, and it all gives you your custom calculation for how much protein, carbs, and fats you should be eating every single day. And then you break it down into per meal throughout that day. So let's say you eat five meals a day like I do, and your total protein for the day is 160 grams. If I divide that by five meals, it's roughly 30 grams of protein a day. I know that just because I've been doing that for five years. Um, not because I'm good at math. <laughs> That's like the super quick breakdown of what calculating your macros is and what a flexible diet is. It means that I can select any protein I want, any fat, any fats I want, and any carbohydrates that I want, as long as I eat them, jot them down in my app or jot, jot them down in my food journal and make sure that by the end of the day, you can do it by per meal, which I prefer, um, it's a little bit more advanced, or you can just start with an easy goal of making sure that at the end of the day, you have had your exact amount of total protein grams from all of that protein that you ate all day, your total carb grams from all of your carbs that you ate that day, and your total fat grams from all of your fat grams that you eat that day. You wanna take it a step further so that you stay healthy and are able to feel great and uh, build an awesome physique. And how you do that is by bringing in sugars and fibers into those daily calculations. So technically those aren't ma micronutrients because micronutrients are more like vitamins and minerals, but just for ease of explaining all of this, let's call protein, carbs, and fats your macros and sugar and fibers your micros. It's not just enough to count up and track your proteins, carbs, and fats because what that does is it allows you to have an endless amount of sugar and to not pay any attention to fiber. And if you have an endless amount of sugar all day, you're gonna feel like shit, you're gonna make shitty food choices, you're gonna be tired, groggy, you're gonna hang on to fat, you're gonna feel like crap every single day of your life. If you pay no attention to fiber and you don't put any sort of emphasis on getting between 25 and 35 grams of it a day, you are not going to be digesting your food, you're gonna feel like crap, you enter into a world of health complications amongst many other things, and so you wanna make sure that not only are you tracking your proteins, carbs, and fats, which is a great start, but then you wanna introduce at some point making sure that you have your sugars and your fibers calculated into your day as well so that you have goals with those too. By tracking your sugars and your fibers, it literally forces you into making more healthy food choices. Instead of choosing donuts for my carbs and my fats, I am choosing avocado and peanut butter and cheese uh, for my fats and I'm choosing um, oatmeal and bagels and rice for my carbs instead of sugary, empty calories like donuts. Um, do I eat treats? Do I have a donut? Do I have a bowl of ice cream? Absolutely. Those are my treats and by having a treat day or a cheat day, like many people call it, it doesn't mean you're just off the charts all day and you're not calculating. 
it, and tracking, what it means is that you eat your calculated proteins, carbs, and fats throughout the entire day, every single meal, but you just add in that bowl of ice cream, okay? Or you eat a little bit less carbs and fats to make room for that bowl of ice cream. That's how that works. And sure, your sugars are gonna be in the 80 to 90 gram for the day, probably, um, when they're normally without that sugary treat, 25 grams or under or something like that. As for what I eat, my favorite proteins are dark chicken. I love dark chicken because it has more flavor. Um, I love salmon, I love turkey, I love steak, I love um, eggs, eggs every day. Um, as for fats, I love avocado, I love peanut butter, I love cashews, and I love cheese. Amen, cheese. <laughs> I eat a lot of cheese. Um, my favorite carbs um, in the number one spot would be bagels. <laughs> I love bagels. I love um, brown rice, white rice, sweet potatoes, white potatoes. Um, I love cereal. I'm a cereal fanatic. Um, I love making uh, cereal with protein milk. I will mix up a protein shake with water or milk and dump it in as the milk for my cereal. If you add a tablespoon of peanut butter to it, then you've got proteins, fats, and, and carbs all in one delicious bowl of cereal. I'm pretty rotten at getting my veggies in. One tip with veggies that I like is I will make a shake. I'll take my Vitamix and I will put um, spinach, some measured out fruit, maybe a little vanilla protein powder measured out. Um, if I'm a little low on fiber, that's when I'll throw in a fiber supplement and probably some liquid egg whites for protein and I blend it up in my Vitamix and there's a good part of another meal or a meal itself depending on what I add to the shake and it gets my veggies in for the day. Those are some ideas and a little intro to flexible dieting and how you can make it so that you can eat what you love throughout the day um, and making sure that you stay on track so that you're able to build and maintain a physique and that you also feel good and feel healthy and thrive in that way too. All right, so thanks so much for your question. Thanks for watching this episode of Ask Jesse. Make sure you comment below with any more information that you need or more additional questions about this topic. I will make sure to respond to all of your comments. Um, also, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also share this video with anybody you think could benefit from hearing this awesome information. Other than that, go to jessiefitness.com and check out the Jesse's Girls training programs and keep bringing in your questions. Thanks for watching Ask Jesse. See you next time.